Thank you all for taking the time to join us tonight. I know everybody is in high spirits because of the easing of restrictions, right? I can't wait to not wear my mask outdoors because it's just so hot in Singapore. So really glad to have you join us today. And we're here to talk about eating well and living well. And right now you are on the Unity Facebook page. This is a Facebook Live. So of course, this webinar is brought to you by Unity. We have our three experts with us in the studio already and they're all set to give you all the information you need to eat well and live well. But before we get them to start talking I'm just gonna wait for more people to join us and as I do that I wanted to actually encourage you to like this Facebook live video and also share it right now with your friends and family so everybody can join in and have a discussion about eating well and living well and also if you share it with your friends and family you're also giving them a chance to walk away with a five dollar unity voucher Okay, and I'll give you more information about that in just a bit. We had a very good session in January. We talked about um, skin health. We talked about eczema, which is a topic that actually a lot of people were very concerned about. And I got to bring home some products. I'm using them for the last two months, and I have to say they, they help greatly. So today we have a whole bunch of products. I've already, I'm, I've been eyeing all the products here. I'm going to like take them off, put them in my bag, and go home with them later. But we will be going through some of these products in just a bit. Let's do a very quick poll okay? for those of you who have joined us or are waiting for more people. Um, which topic are you most interested to hear about from our speakers today? And I'm going to go through the options for the answers and then you just put in the comments like one, two, three or four, you know, the options that we have for you. Is it one, immunity and energy or is it two, gut health, three, achieving healthy weight or four, all of the above. So once again, which topic are you most interested to hear from our speakers today? Is it one, immunity and energy? Or is it two, gut health? Or is it three, achieving healthy weight? Or is it four, all of the above? Participate now, we want to see your comments. Um, and yes, let's talk about that $5 Unity voucher right now. We are giving away $5 Unity vouchers to the first 300 participants who sign up and you're like, oh, how do I sign up, how do I sign up? Uh, you just look at the comments section and look for the Google form link and then get into that and give us your name and email and we will email it, to, we'll email the e-voucher to you on the 28th of March this year, obviously. A while stop class, okay, we only have 300 of these e-vouchers to give away and this entitles you to $5 off a minimum spend of $25 net on health supplements and also personal care products. The voucher is valid until the 11th of April in all FairPrice and Unity stores. Once again, if you want that $5 Unity, Unity voucher, just click on the Google form link and give us your name and email. Okay, let's get into the results of the poll. It looks like many of you are interested to Four, all of the above. That's a very good answer because we don't want to hurt the feelings of any of the experts here, right? Because one of each expert is taking on a different topic. But yes, all of the above. Great. And I'm glad that we're all here to get healthy together. Thanks for joining us once again. And once again, remember to like this video and share it with your, fr your friends and family. Okay, we're going to delve right into our first expert right now. She's already sitting next to me, the lovely Jazz Liu. She's our first speaker and Jazz is the Regional Medical Lead Vitamins, Minerals and Supplements AMA from PNG. Jazz, you are here to tell us about Voost. Thank you, Jamie, for your kind introduction and thank you, Unity, for having me here today. So I'm sure everyone have heard about the term three C's, right? So today I'm going to tell you something slightly different. I'm going to tell you about the five C's of moose. So what actually is the five C's of moose? So remember the first C is actually content. So as you can see here, we have a range of moose vitamins being displayed here. There are seven different types of uh, vitamins and minerals packaged in this uh, nice uh, Pantone color series that you can see here. So in terms of the content, right, uh, what you may not know is that we have actually uh, quite high content of vitamin C's uh, in our first cube here, which is uh, our vitamin C 1000 milligram. So uh, for all of you that have been consuming vitamin C throughout the pandemic, you might have heard that actually vitamin C is excreted uh, through our body, through the urine. So 1000 milligram is actually the ideal dose because anything more than that, 
your body probably couldn't absorb it properly. So this is first the content. The second one is in terms of calories. So I know like everyone is probably uh, watching their diet and also trying to maintain a really fit body. So in terms of boost, right, actually there's um, uh, no sugar in most of our um, SKUs and in inside boost is actually very low calories only like 10 calories uh, per tablet so um, no sugar added as well and the second uh, the third one is actually clarity it dissolves uh, very quickly and uh, it actually leaves a uh, minimal sediments so any sediments uh, within uh, sometimes you might not um, finish up all the uh, vitamins that is left in the cup but rest assured uh, with uh, the vitamins uh, contained within our boost product you can actually consume all the vitamins uh, as a whole then other than that um, some people might be worried about color um, any artificial coloring that's actually available in the products out there because we're trying to uh, lead a very healthy lifestyle so who's actually uses a lot of natural colorings uh, within uh, all our products so there's no artificial artificial colorings and last but not least it's very convenient so as you can see here um, all these are actually in effervescence format so you can actually bring it on the go uh, there's a uh, a small pack size of 10 tablets where you can easily put it in your purse then whenever you need it you just pop it in a cup of water and bring it on the go and most importantly it's really tasty it is very yeah. tasty can i ask you you know there are a lot of vitamin tablets as well that you can buy on the market yeah why okay let's talk about effervescent vitamins versus just tablet forms sure. why is effervescent vitamins better well i'm sure the audience is introduced to find out as well jamie can you help me with a small scientific okay. demonstration uh, here demonstration first and then explanation yes exactly okay Oops. Sure. okay no. <laughs> So, um, Jamie is going to pop a boost tablet inside uh, this uh, cup of water. So, um, each uh, tablet, you just need to pop it into 200 ml of water. So, so as you can see, put it here. Ready? Yeah. Pop. So, this process is actually called the dissolution and disintegration process. So, as uh, you can see here, this entire process actually happens outside of the body. Okay. Versus a tablet, you pop it in directly. This actually happens in the outside. body if you take a tablet? Yes, this okay. happens in the body if you take in a tablet. So, uh, you might want to guess. Try to type. How long do you think a tablet takes to dissolve and disintegrate in the stomach itself? A long time, right? I'm sure. At least uh, half an hour? Yes, actually, it's smart. So it's around 30 minutes. Can you use a sizzle? Oh, I'll, yeah. put a, I'll put the sizzle next to the mic. Yeah. So the sizzle sound is uh, due to the reaction. Uh, so the sizzle sound is due to uh, the reaction when the tablet actually exposed to water. It, expo uh, it actually comes out with carbon dioxide. So, um, oh, we are being asked to speak louder. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so, so, so uh, yeah, it, it's the sound of the carbon dioxide. So, uh, this is uh, why uh, the vitamins are actually in a very uh, ready to absorb format. Okay, so yeah. effervescent tablets are more absorbable. Yeah. And, but even among the effervescent market, right, there are quite a lot of brands. What sets boost apart? Well, I would say that... Uh, actually, I know that because I take boost. Less sugar. Yes, uh, less sugar, so right? actually uh, most of our products uh, do not contain any added sugar. Oh, just no added sugar. Yeah, no added sugar. And uh, the sweetness actually comes uh, from flavorings and sweetness. No, uh, so it's uh, very safe to consume. So you have seven variants altogether. Yeah. Um, and I know your vitamin C is the most popular one because sometimes it sells out yeah. online. <laughs> That's the, the blood orange flavor. Now, why is it so important to have supplementation? Because a lot of people say, obviously some doctors would tell you that you can get all the vitamins and minerals from food, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it depends on one's diet, right? So, uh, in this present uh, lifestyle that we have, everyone is uh, leading a very hectic life. And sometimes, uh, taking care of our diet might not be the top of our mind. So, that's where uh, vitamins that is really readily available and very convenient comes into the picture. So, what I like about uh, the series that we have here is that uh, it has uh, something for everyone. It has something to suit... Um, 
everyone's a different lifestyle. For example, if we talk about immunity, so um, a lot of times we might not uh, have sufficient uh, vitamins that actually help to boost our immunity, such as uh, vitamin C, uh, zinc, or even vitamin D. So for those individuals that are looking for all this combination in the tablet itself, you can actually go for the multivitamin, yeah. which have all this uh, packed in one tablet and um, you just pop in a cup of water. And uh, another thing that actually uh, sets uh, effervescence out is that um, you actually indirectly just consume more water and you know that hydration is essentially good for your body. Yeah, and what I like is that sometimes when you crave for uh, something refreshing, okay, I take my booze always with ice, you know, mm. um, but sometimes you just crave for something cold and refreshing, and instead of reaching for, you know, yeah. like a soda, a can of soda, it's actually much better to okay, pop like a, a booze tablet, anything that you choose into a glass of water and drink that together with your meal. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay, any uh, last words you want to say? Well, um, I, I would like to talk a bit uh, on energy as well. Okay. So, so I think this one, right? Yep. So for for energy, we have like uh, energy and also performance. Yeah. So uh, for this uh, particular product, uh, what I like is that um, you actually have uh, two mechanism of action. One with the instant boost of energy because we contain guarana and caffeine for those that uh, require a slight perk me up mm. during the afternoon. Yeah. So that would be a good instant boost. But at the same time, uh, there's also B vitamins. So B vitamins are actually uh, well known vitamins that help to actually uh, help your cells create more energy. The building blocks of your cells actually require B vitamins to function appropriately and also your nerves as well to have a healthy nerve function. Great, thank you so much Jess. Thank it was you. great to hear about the science behind Voos and we've already heard from her um, uh, why effervescence is better than just taking vitamins in tablet form and um, you know it fits different lifestyles. Made in Germany, number one brand in Australia. Really good stuff. Thank you so much Jess. And later on we'll welcome your questions. We'll get her to answer some of your questions about Voos as well. Um, now if you're just joining us, welcome to the Eat Well Live Well webinar on the Unity Facebook page. It's a Facebook Live and this is all live, okay? Um, one of my experts here today, um, you know, he was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I was live. But anyway, speaking of my experts, Warren is here already. So we have three speakers here today who are t here to tell us about how to eat well and live well. And we're also here to talk about some products that can help you eat well and live well. But just wanted to let you know, for those of you who are just joining us, we have $5 Unity e vouchers to give away to the first 300 participants. So all you need to do is to look for the Google form link in the comment section below and click on it and give us your name and email and we'll email the e-voucher to you if you are within the first 300 participants. Vouchers uh, valid till the 11th of April at all FairPrice and Unity stores on a minimum spend of $25 net on health supplements and personal care. Okay, we have invited Dr. Warren Lee from Dr. Warren Lee Pediatrics Growth and Diabetes Center. Really glad to have you here with us, Dr. Lee. You are a pediatric endocrino endocrinologist yes. <laughs> and you're here to share with us about gut health. And as a mom of, of two, um, probiotics is very it's a very important thing. You hear about it from the moment your child is an infant. You know, you hear about how they, they need to have good gut health for strong immunity. So we're all very concerned about this today. And Dr. Warren, you're here to tell us about the health benefits of probiotics and how it's good for our health. So tell us more about probiotics. How many types are there? Are they all the same? You know, it's quite confusing, okay, right? Let, let, let me start from the beginning. You know, actually besides humans having our own cells, we have a host, more than a trillion uh, cells living, you know, like uh, good neighbors with us. And we call this a microbiome. You may have heard of the term. They essentially uh, bugs that um, live in our bodies. Many of them live in our skin, live in our gut. And uh, through the years, um, they literally have been passed down from mother to child. And they serve a lot of uh, functions like helping us to digest our food, helping us to keep other unwelcome bugs at bay because they choke the parking places, so to speak. And um, this has been going on for a long, long time. So why probiotics? Well, probiotics are um, um, 
live organisms, which if you give enough of them uh, of the right type, um, they will confer a health benefit to the host. That's, that's the definition. But why we need probiotics is that through the pressures of modern life, many kids are actually now born uh, through instrumented delivery. That means cesarean sections. Uh, many of them don't have as much uh, breastfeeding as mommy would like for various reasons. And through the years, many of them get uh, exposure to antibiotics. Now, all these things mean that first you have fewer bugs of the right type coming to you as a newborn baby. Um, mother's milk actually helps the right bugs to grow. So if you don't have enough breastfeeding, there are not enough of them. And down the road, if you get exposed to antibiotics, antibiotics are actually very important for killing the bad bugs that are causing disease. But you know, there's a lot of bystander effect. And so the good bugs get killed along the way as well. So this means that it becomes more easy for easier for people to get all sorts of allergic and autoimmune diseases. So they came up with this idea that if you had probiotics, um, these are bugs which kind of do something like a replacement function, so they actually help to write the balance of the, the types of uh, bacteria that are in our gut. And, you know, as a group, we call them probiotics, just like um, you call antibiotics as, as a group. But actually, pro probiotics actually have many, many different types, they're different species. They, they do different things. So one of the things that probiotics do is that simply by being there, they take up resources, uh, sometimes like things like oxygen or food, that other competitor uh, bacteria would otherwise uh, need to have, right? So some of the good bacteria do better without oxygen. So if you've got too much oxygen, the bad bacteria can come in. So the probiotics actually uh, take up oxygen in the gut. Some of the probiotics uh, can actually help us to make vitamins. Uh, and if we don't have enough vitamins, we take vitamin supplements, but sometimes uh, our micro, micro, uh, microbiome and probiotics help us to make uh, uh, vitamins, special chemicals, uh, fatty acids, stuff which the body needs, and actually stuff which actually boosts our immune system by uh, boosting the natural immunity, the immune cells, the mucus layers of the body. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the things that um, these bugs do. Some um, uh, probiotics, like, uh, in fact, one of the, the products that's being featured today, um, they, the, the bacteria actually makes a kind of antibiotic that kills other competitor uh, uh, bacteria. Okay. And so if you kill off the bad guys yeah. and have bad, more of the good guys, then there's actually health benefit. And actually, it's been shown in studies that some of the kids who take these probiotics actually have less uh, sick days in school and childcare centers, so that's actually a, quite a big deal. Yeah. Um, and and again, you know, there's now a lot of uh, uh, what we call uh, controlled trial evidence. And so, so first level medical evidence to show that in specific situations, specific strains of uh, bacteria can have a health benefit. In fact, even a medical benefit. Uh, but just like just like antibiotics, you can't say that all probiotics do everything. Yeah. Sometimes you actually need certain products for certain jobs. Yeah, I mean, um, so like what you mentioned, because uh, you know, we've got some products here, so we've got BioGaia here, and I actually gave my daughter BioGaia when she was an infant. I was very concerned though, you know, as with as how, how you are with your babies, you want to give them the recommended dosage, right? Yeah. So with the droplets, you know, I, I, I read the label very carefully, because can you give too much probiotics to a kid? Uh, it just, yeah. Okay, okay. so that's, that's, a, that's a very common question. So actually, you know, People look at the probiotic and say, oh no, there are billions of bugs yeah. in, in, in yeah, a like, dose. Yeah, like what if they've already had like a cup of yogurt, can you then also give them uh, a, you know, okay. a recommended daily so dose? So the, the number of bacteria in the gut is in the trillions. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so it's, we're giving billions, they've lot. got trillions. The <laughs> second thing, yeah. a lot of the probiotic bacteria actually die before they actually get to the place where they're supposed to be because of stomach acids and also gut. Uh, uh, alkali, right? So the bile salts, they actually kill off a lot. So you choose the right bacteria that are able to survive the journey to mm -hmm. help you. Then 
actually, it's not so much too much, but some people can't tolerate because everybody's got a different microbiome. We all have different collections or personalized collection of bugs. So some people cannot tolerate certain products, which their sister, their mother, their father could tolerate. Okay. Uh, and that's fine. But um, as a whole, they're actually good. It's hard to over give, but it is possible to give something that's not quite suitable for you. Okay. So, so like, do you have to take it consistently or can you stop for a while, you know, after okay. you get better? Okay. So, actually, remember what we said. The, the, the whole idea about probiotics is actually to replace. And kind of you think about it in terms of like growing a garden. You want to see... Ideally, you, you, you give some of these bugs and they seed in your, in your gut and they should reproduce mm. and it should be self-sustaining. Problem is, um, human beings actually change the population of the microbiome as they age. So the biggest change between 0 to 3, less change between 3 to 16 years old. And by the time you're in pre U NS, your gut's pretty much the same way it's going to be. They, they all have that the niche I've been here first incumbent uh, sort of situation. So okay. when you give uh, probiotics, you're actually trying to change some of this. So some people will actually get major change. Some people will change for a while. If you stop giving it, it will revert back. And for some people, it's like renting the potted plants. <laughs> Literally, you have to keep giving. Yeah. Um, we tend to say that, well, you should be able to see the benefits in a couple of weeks. Uh, most studies actually talk about like one to three, four months, but it's not wrong to give, keep giving probiotics for very, very long periods of time. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I've also heard about prebiotics. What's the difference between pre ah, okay. and probiotics? Yes. Um, okay, think of it this way. The probiotics are the bacteria that you want to give, but prebiotics are a little bit like the fertilizers or the food for the, these, these bacteria, for them to thrive. Uh, chemically, they're very often uh, specialized uh, carbohydrates, uh, insoluble or soluble um, complex compounds that the human body, the humans themselves are not able to really digest, but these bugs can make use of. Okay, so we in some of these products actually package prebiotics into the foods, but otherwise um, they tend to be like roots and tubers, like for example, asparagus and yams would contain prebiotics, but we don't think of it that way. We think of it as asparagus yeah. and yams, right? Yeah. Postbiotics, on the other hand, are actually it's a term to refer to the back to the chemicals that the bacteria that the probiotic bacteria make. As a, as a part of their own metabolism, as their own life processes. And sometimes it's the postbiotics that are actually chemically the most relevant and of benefit to your body. So post as in pro lab. No, no, post as in what the guy made. Oh, okay. okay? So okay. some products actually use the, the chemicals that dead bacteria use. They okay. call them postbiotics. Got it. Okay, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions, right? Because I have a lot of questions <laughs> in my head right now after this. <laughs> it's quite technical, um, but it's very important. And you hear probiotics being thrown around a lot. And you also hear gut health being thrown around a lot. So if you have any questions for Dr. Warren, Lee, we, we have a Q&A session at the end of the webinar today. And that's when you also get your voucher, okay? Um, but if you have any questions, just, just type away in the comment section right now and we will deal with your questions later. But for now, Dr. Warren, thank you so much for giving us a lowdown on probiotics. Um, once again, if you're just joining us, this is the Eat Well, Live Well webinar on the Unity Facebook page. And uh, we had Jazz talking about VUs, you know, supplementation, effervescent vitamins and minerals. And we just had Dr. Warren D talk about um, uh, probiotics. Um, and also he gave us a bit of uh, information about prebiotics as well and we do have a five dollar unity e-bar just to give away so what you need to do is to look for the google form link in the comment section and just give us your name and email and we'll send the e voucher to you uh, by the 28th of march only to the first 300 participants so um, just register it away um, and also remember to like and share this video with your friends and family maybe they can get the five dollar unity vouchers as well okay i have with me for our last session we have pauline sien miss pauline sien who is a principal dietitian from national healthcare group polyclinics hi pauline it's really good to have you with us um, she's got a keen interest in diabetes and weight management and she's also very active in health 
helping uh, and developing community weight loss programs for those with chronic diseases. So now let's hear from Pauline. She's going to share about achieving a healthy body weight through the very low calorie diet or VLCD. Right? Okay, go ahead, Pauline. The floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Can I have the slides, please? I'm going to share with you a little bit about the options for weight management. So what is VLCD, um, the Optifast VLCD program, and also some possible side effects, and how you can work together with your healthcare professional if you want to lose weight healthily. Let me share with you some of the options in weight management. Firstly, we have the lifestyle management, which includes diet, exercise, and behavior therapy. Secondly, in addition to lifestyle management, there is medications. So these are medications that has to be prescribed by the doctor. And there are some possible side effects too. Thirdly, there is a bariatric or weight loss surgery. So this is, I often tell my patients that this is a tool for weight management. Um, it's definitely not an easy way out. As part of the lifestyle therapy, the dietitian can work with you on a low calorie diet, can, uh, can work with you on intermittent fasting, on different methods for weight management. So very low calorie diet is one of it. Very low calorie diet is, uh, like the name says, it is a very low calorie diet. It is a diet that is less than 800 calories in a day. Uh, it has to be low calories, nutritionally balanced. It must have high quality protein. It has to meet all vitamins, minerals, and electrolyte fatty acid requirements. But it is not impossible to do this without, without products, uh, but it is quite difficult to eat a diet that is less than 800 calories and meet all these requirements for a while. So dietitians do use products to help patients and we work with them on their weight loss progress. Optifast from Nestle, uh, it is actually a product that many dietitians in Singapore tend to use uh, because there is a lot of clinical evidence behind it. One sachet of the product has got 28 vitamins and minerals. Uh, there are 20, there's 20 grams of protein in there, which is equivalent to about the protein of three eggs. That is low in GI as well, so it's suitable for patients with diabetes. It's nutritionally complete. It's 3.6 grams of dietary fiber, and it has only 200 calories in a sachet. So not everybody is suitable for VLCD. For example, um, if you belong to any of these categories and the doctor has recommended for you to lose weight, for example, um, if you require rapid weight loss, secondly, if you have BMI of more than 27.5 or BMI of 25 uh, with some obesity-related medical conditions and you have tried but with little success to lose weight, so VLCD may be the, the thing for you. Uh, thirdly, if you have medical conditions that are pretty well controlled and the doctor has recommended that if you lose weight, you can get better, so you may be suitable for VLCD. So talk to your medical professional about it. VLCD does not only work with a uh, calorie restriction alone. So a lot of people say, well, if I eat, eat, eat 800 calories, um, I will lose weight, right? So the VLCD actually works by um, not just calorie restriction alone, uh, because it is very low in calories and very low in carbohydrates. It's got very good protein in there. Uh, it actually induces or it causes a mild ketosis. So this mild ketosis, don't worry about this name, but um, ketosis actually means that your body kind of switch gear to burn fat instead of burning the ready fuel in your body. So this ketosis happens um, and then it actually, because the VLCD has got very good protein, so we tend to put, uh, maintain our muscle mass as well. Next please. So the Optifast VLCD program, this looks like a busy slide, don't worry. Uh, so the VLCD program works in four stages, we call four phases. 
uh, we're just going to concentrate on the intensive phase for this, for the purpose of this um, webinar. So if you look at the first row, the step three or the intensive phase, it is uh, it consists of having Optifast three times a day as part of three meal replacements. And that's right, all meals are replaced with this with this um, Optifast and two servings of vegetables, which you can use um, oil to cook in uh, and lots of water. So this is the phase of um, the intensive phase of this VLCD program. And then there is uh, step two, step one, and the maintenance phase, which we will not cover today, but we can certainly talk about it if you have questions about it. Okay. If I, are, you, are you done? Um, yeah, I can talk uh, about possible side effects, but I, yeah, I, can, I, can, ask, I can ask that. But I was going to say that if I had to lose weight, right, I would go for, I would do it slowly and do the like, maybe only replace one meal a day mm. and then like, because I don't think I can ever give up food. You know what I mean? Not many of us too. Yeah, <laughs> but I will definitely give it a try. Actually, what I'll do is I will fast till lunch and then mm. I'll replace lunch with um, the Altifast shake and then dinner, I'll just eat whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah that works as well, right? There's yes. different variations, yes. right? Because we do know that not everybody can have the discipline to just <laughs> replace all the meals a day. But yeah, I, I wanted to talk about side effects as well. Obviously, we know that there are some swimming products that can cause liver damage and all that. We, I'm just curious, um, uh, this VLCD drink, right? This shape, is it safe? Yes, it is, is clinically proven to be right. safe. Um, however, it's not for everybody, like I mentioned. Yeah. If you have diabetes and it's poorly controlled, you're on insulin injections, so you may need to uh, make sure that you're suitable for it by talking to your doctor, talk to your dietitian about it. Uh, so it may not be suitable for everyone. Uh, some people do um, uh, experience some side effects. Okay. Some of the side effects is uh, because of the mild ketosis, yeah. some people do experience a bit of bad breath. Okay. Um, and, and I like to say that um, it is a three-day challenge for them. So initially, uh, the three, first three days may be very, very hard because your body is trying to get used to it. Um, so at the, at the beginning of the three days, you may feel very tired, yeah. there may be no energy, you can't focus at work. So that is a three-day challenge. But once you get past the three days, uh, people get into this mild ketosis that we mentioned. So the body gets into that switch gear mode where you start to burn fat. So that's when the weight loss starts to, to happen a lot faster. Yeah. But if you were to come in, say, say Jamie, you mentioned that all of us like our food and you may not be ready for a total replacement of your meals. Yeah. So if you're keen to start a one meal replacement or two meal replacements a day, many people do like you. Um, they fast until, until lunchtime and they take this replacement um, meal and they get on to another meal at the later part of the day with their family and friends. Yeah, and also once you look at the mirror and you see how slim you've gotten and how good you look, I think that will give you the motivation to, to actually do more. So yeah, so we, we, we briefly talked about um, the fact about the, like the, the tips, how we can effectively lose weight with VLCD without using it as a full meal replacement. That's what you mean, right? Just mm -hmm. one like one or meal, two. okay. But can you still have something to eat and then drink the shake? I mean, uh, at that meal? Yeah, at that meal. Um, you can have a fruit. Okay. But don't forget that we're, what we're trying to do is to lose weight overall to achieve a lower yeah. calorie uh, in the day. Um, and also because Optifast is so nutritionally complete, there yeah. is no, no need to be eating any anything else to supplement that meal. Um, having said that, like I said, many of us come in different, come in uh, trying to lose weight at different levels. So um, do work with your dietitian about it. And we have three boxes here. I want to actually check it out. So let's open a vanilla one. It comes with chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Oh, it's quite a big sachet. Okay, I can see why there's like 20 grams of protein, there's fiber, and all that in there. It's very important. Actually, a lot of people, when they go on diets, they forget about the protein and yes. we all need protein because, like, they we even need protein for like brain cells and yes. stuff like that, right? So, okay, very interesting. Beautiful hair and skin, everything, well. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is very important as well. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, Pauline, for sharing with us. Do you guys have any questions? Because we have actually come to the Q&A part of our webinar and we want to get into that. Um, okay. 
uh, Jairam Tagar Velu, you asked is a bio Gaia, what Dr. Lee was talking about, probiotics, and we had a bio Gaia on the table. Is that for kids or for adults? Yeah, I've always thought bio Gaia was for for, ba- for kids because I, I got it for my, my kids, the drops when you know they were babies. But uh, are they for kids and adults, Dr. Yes, Warren? Yes, they're, they're actually uh, different products. Uh, you know, just like Colgate, uh, toothpaste actually has got yeah. several sub products. Okay. So the the, the BioGaia range actually has a has a product specifically for babies. There's a product um, I think they call it Protectus, which is actually good for school going children. Yeah, that's and a chewable, right? The chewables, yeah. yes, and it's also a chewable which actually works well for adults and specifically some adults with uh, specific um, medical issues like irritable bowel. Uh, inflammatory bowel uh, disease um, and uh, certain specific conditions which you might want to discuss with your doctor. So those tend to be to, to have specific uses in addition to just being used for general health. Okay, um, we've got one for for jazz, I believe. Are all supplements suitable for our body? Because you know, like for example, even Boost, right? Is yeah. your multivitamins has vitamin C, and then your energy also has vitamin C, and then um, there's magnesium, there's collagen. Like we cannot take all seven variants in a day. So, yeah, tell us how yeah. do we split that? Like, yeah, I think um, the most important thing is uh, having the right dose at the right time, basing on your right body condition. So uh, the first uh, assessment that you need to do on yourself, together with your healthcare professional, is that uh, you need to find out what is your baseline uh, vitamin intake or your uh, micronutrient intake and basing on that then you can actually uh, deep dive further in terms of which particular uh, product is suitable for you so of course um, that Oh no, go yeah, ahead, Jess. Okay, of course, that there is also uh, a lot of different products available in the market. So uh, I would suggest you to really look into the labels and look at uh, the ingredients within the label to see uh, what is the content of the various vitamins and minerals within uh, the bottle itself and subsequently make the decision. If you need further support, there are also uh, indications written on the label itself. So for example, vitamin C, uh, of course you know, is to boost uh, the immunity and there's a dose that is indicated. So feel free to discuss further with your pharmacist when you actually uh, visit the store. Thanks for that, Jess. Sheila, you asked, why is it that when I take Pro- probiotics. After eight hours, I have diarrhea two to three times within the same day. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think that's pretty much up to Okay, so remember just now I said that um, probiotics is what we call this whole group of products. Uh, I, 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 not, we are not all suitable for all. Uh, products and you might find that um, if, if you brought a probiotic you might be able to take it your child might be able to take it your husband may not be able to take it and vice versa so if you've got uh, a, an upset tummy um, consistently after taking this particular product I think this particular product is not for you okay. uh, and, and just switch to something else but it's not because all probiotics are bad it just depends on you, like it depends on you. It's a trial and error kind oh, of well, thing. Well, right? everybody has a personal microbiome. It's yeah. so unique that actually some scientists think it's as good as uh, a fingerprint. Oh, it's wow. that different in that okay. name. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for that, Doctor Lee. Um, you may you want to know how about putting on weight in a healthy manner? I think. That's possibly for Pauline. <laughs> but then Pauline's talking about losing weight. No? Maybe I can answer that. Like, how to put on weight? Because that's sometimes my struggle. Uh, exercise. <laughs> exercise. That's one. <laughs> Anything else, Pauline? <laughs> Oh, it's a different topic of the yeah. day, but, <laughs> but to, put on weight, protein, yes, <laughs> to put on weight healthily, we do need our protein. So I have a good source of protein, like um, a lean meat, have, um, fish, tofu, soybeans. So these are all very good sources of protein. And we also can put on weight easily with fat, which is why many of us are struggling to put, uh, to lose weight. <laughs> actually, but, yeah. I mean, it's a dietitian, so actually, sh- on, I mean, I, 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 you know, you're here for the class. <laughs> Well, but you're actually definitely qualified to answer this, right? <laughs> yeah. But to put, put on weight uh, healthily, we can use fat to put on weight healthily. We need to choose the 
uh, the, the good fats. What the are good, good fats? fats? Like the, the fats from the healthy oils, for example, olive oil, canola oil, rice bran oil. That you know about chicken skin fat? That is not why? healthy fat, Jamie. But why? <laughs> so, so salmon has got good fats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is why you're not putting on the <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, but is it okay to have chicken skin once in a while? Come on. <laughs> once in a while, sure. <laughs> She's forced to say that. <laughs> All right, we've got another question here. Alicia, Ali, okay, my, I didn't wear my contacts today. Alicia, Alicia, Chia. <laughs> Alicia Chia. You say my girl has constipation all the time due to not drinking enough water. Is it okay for her to take BioGaia tubal probiotics every day? Dr. Lee? Okay. Um, I think the answer is yes. Uh, provided that the constipation didn't come on after you started the biogaia. Okay, got it. So right? it's not the probiotic. It's not necessary. That it's not the the the, the biogaia that caused the pro that caused the constipation. Or um, you were looking to the this specific product to solve your kid's constipation problem. So the, the, those those are two caveats. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dr. Lee, are you able to share more benefits of taking probiotics besides having a healthy gut? Are there more benefits than just a healthy gut? Yeah, actually, um, the, it's more than a healthy gut. Actually, um, surprisingly, um, having a healthy microbiome actually helps you to maintain a uh, proper weight. Uh, there, uh, there are studies to show that it can affect mood because there's a gut-brain uh, uh, axis as well. Um, certainly for some people there is a, a demonstrable change in immune function. Um, and I think because people have this idea that the gut is the gut, but actually the healthy gut contributes to your health in general. Yeah, uh, it's it's just a catchphrase. So, but it's not by by no means the only reason why people would take probiotics. Okay, thank you very much for that. Um, does the amount of water used for the effervescent vitamins affect the effect of power of the vitamins? I think that's yours, Jess. <laughs> Actually, no. As long as you consume the whole cup of water, yeah. yeah. I like my thick style. Yeah, very little bit of water and then a lot of ice. Yeah, That's so okay for well, right? for wools, actually the recommended uh, amount of water is two hundred mils, uh, and uh, to drink it directly after dissolution. But if you like it more diluted, it's okay as well. It doesn't affect uh, the efficacy of the product. Okay, more questions coming in. Erwin, you asked, can we take probiotics every day? Even I know that lies, yes, but go ahead. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's, you can take probiotics every day. It is not necessary to take uh, the uh, probiotic every day. Some people cycle products so that they get a, a bigger diversity because, again, not all products will have every bug that's needed that you need. Some Sometimes you need uh, multi-strain, sometimes you need specific single-strain uh, probiotics. Okay, another one for you. Alicia asks, is it good practice to give baby probiotics even if they are not constipated? Like, even if they have no problems with their gut? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, constipation... Um, Okay, so people tend to think that, okay, if I my kid is constipated, therefore I use probiotics. No, but actually for, for many babies, especially the babies where they were born by cesarean section, I would think that the reason why you're going to give probiotics is actually to establish a healthy microbiome. That means you are, you are helping to re-establish the right combination of bacteria in your gut. There are actually 700 strains in your average patients are 700 different species in your average uh, person's gut and what you want to do is you want to help establish the right strains so that your your immune system will be tuned okay people think in terms of um, prevention of uh, disease but actually a lot of it is the promotion of tolerance or prevention of allergic disease so that you don't overreact to say your food are the normal chemicals you're exposed to, but at the same time have an, uh, an immune system that is able to reject and fight against germs and toxins. Yeah. Right? So a lot of the diseases that pediatricians see nowadays is uh, the allergic and autoimmune diseases, and actually probiotics help to prevent that in the long term, I feel. Okay. Right? So it's not yeah. about constipation per se. Yeah, alone. it's just about to just maintaining general good health. Yeah, right? it is. It is. Yeah. Okay. Um, Puck. 
King Yong, you ask, will intermittent fasting help in losing weight? Polly? Yes, uh, intermittent fasting is, uh, like the name says, intermittent. So uh, there are many ways of doing this. We have many patients who tried uh, to 16 and 8, 5 and 2, for example. Some hours, right? Yes, yeah, hours. there are some hours. Um, so it can help in losing weight. Uh, however, not everybody is suitable for intermittent fasting. So do talk to your doctor or your dietitian about it. Um, many years ago, if I if I were to see a patient, I, I may not recommend intermittent intermittent fasting easily um, but right now we have more and more clinical studies that's coming in that that, that has uh, very good evidence that intermittent fasting can help in weight loss um, over over time um, so it is something that I do recommend some some patients who are suitable um, but like, I like to say that it's a dietitian guided intermittent fasting yeah I agree. so it doesn't mean that when you are not fasting you can eat anything you want so it's still important to eat a healthy diet to lose weight healthy. I've, I've heard that intermittent fasting is all about uh, speeding up cell renewal, something like that. So it's actually good for your skin and all that, and hair too. <laughs> um, you've got another question. Uh, Yulin Ang, you asked, how much weight can we lose if we take the LCD? How much weight? Honestly, it depends on how disciplined you are. How disciplined you are. I keep talking to that. I should be talking to this camera. It depends on how yes. disciplined you are. Yes, uh, well, it depends on how consistent you are. And like, like, like you mentioned just now, motivation feeds motivation. So when somebody um, gets uh, get, uh, experiences some weight loss on the LCD, they tend to do better on it because they say, I'm seeing results. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, uh, people can lose up to 10, 15 kilos in two months to three months of, of taking the LCD. So it is possible. Okay, we've already answered this question earlier. We talked about this, but maybe Erwin, you just joined us. That's okay. We're going to get Dr. Warandi to very quickly tell us the difference between prebiotics and probiotics again. Okay, so probiotics are bacteria that taken in sufficient quantity, live bacteria taken in sufficient quantity, uh, are proved that have been shown to give benefits to the body, to the person who's taking them. A prebiotic is usually um, like a, a food or fertilizer uh, that helps the growth of the probiotic bacteria. Okay, so okay, so usually kind, yeah, some kind of like soluble fiber complex sugar. That's what usually prebiotics are. Probiotics are actually bacteria. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then Angelina asks, is live probiotic better? What is live probiotics? Oh, okay. I thought they're all live. Yeah, ah, they're all live. Okay. Right? So probiotics actually have to be live in order to do their job. One of the problems about probiotic products that we can buy is that they may have left the factory alive. Yeah. But what's the viable, the viable count by the time it reaches the consumer? And what is the viable count that actually is able to survive the journey from your mouth to the site of action, which is usually in the lower gut. So if it's dead bacteria, yeah, yeah it's usually not going to work very well. Okay, I hope that answered your question. Stan, is it a good thing that, okay, your question is, is it a good thing that urine is yellow after taking vitamin B? I think Jess, <laughs> yeah. urine is always yellow. I think this is a darker Orange. hue of uh, yellow. Golden. <laughs> yeah, this, this is simply uh, showing that the vitamin B is being metabolized in your body and being excreted through your urine as the byproduct. So uh, it's okay, it's a common observed um, symptom that you see uh, when you take vitamin Bs. Okay, for um, Wan Chong Hock, you asked for diabetic patients, is fruit juice without added sugar suitable for them? Pauline? Yeah, for patients with diabetes, um, in fact, for all of us, we recommend eating fruits. So fruits um, in the natural form is the best for all of us because we can absorb the nutrients the most easily. So for patients with diabetes, uh, they have diabetes because they can't tolerate so much sugar coming in at one time. So these patients, they are not recommended to have fruit juice because with one fruit juice, you need about three or four fruits to make it. So in fact, if you are drinking a fruit juice, you are having three or four fruits, the sugar of three to four fruits at the same time. So it is not recommended that they have fruit juice. Joyce? Joyce Lee says, hello, <laughs> does, collagen, does the collagen want to improve complexion? 
this you're talking about the Vu's collagen, the pink one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, collagen is uh, in, involved in terms of uh, building our skin cells. So if uh, we actually consume collagen um, diligent enough over a long period of time, uh, there should be a certain observed uh, effect in terms of improvement of skin complexion. And um, the recommended uh, intake of collagen together with vitamin C uh, is also recommended because uh, vitamin C actually helps uh, to access that antioxidant to help to fight off the free radicals that might cause uh, damage uh, to the skin. Thanks for that, Jess. New King, you asked if you're 60 years old, can you take Octifast? Not, I don't know what he means by, but not can't take as nutrition. Like just, can you take Octifast? It's just a nutritious shape kind of thing. Okay. Um, yeah. Octifast is specially designed for weight management. So it is not suitable to take as like a nutrition top up, we call like a nutrition supplement. However, in the Nestle range, there are other products that are suitable for taking uh, to build up or to boost mm -hmm. their strength. So it is possible uh, to use products to help you, but not this product for food, uh, for putting on weight. Okay. Uh, what else? May, how do we know which probiotics are suitable for us, Dr. Lee? <laughs> okay, that's, a, that's not an easy question to answer because um, it's a bit like just as there are many, many different antibiotics and your doctor knows better which ones might work for you. I think this is where one where you might want to t talk to a healthcare professional, be your doctor or maybe your dietitian to actually uh, try and see which, well, uh, what, what types of, um, of probiotics might be more suitable for, uh, for, for you. Because sometimes you're trying to treat a condition, sometimes you're actually just improving your health. One Chong Hop, uh, okay, yours is quite technical. It's taking two, two tablets of calcium carb 450 mg vitamin d 200 units twice daily sufficient is there a limit well, on daily dosage well i maybe i can uh yeah yeah take that question yeah go ahead, so yes. so i think um Miss, uh, Mr. Wan, I think it really depends on who is this uh, indicated for, right? Uh, first, uh, is it indicated for yourself or is it for your family? Because at different life stages, uh, the requirement of calcium or even vitamin D is different. But definitely, uh, if uh, your diet does not contain uh, enough of such supplementation, it's recommended for you to have additional intake. So, based on this assessment, uh, it seems if that particular uh, product is uh, for you, uh, it seems like uh, it should be sufficient. I, I can't really see your face clearly, uh, but <laughs> I uh, I see that you're adult male, so um, that should be sufficient. However, that uh, being said, right, uh, according to the 2010 Singapore uh, National Health Survey, we found that around 40% of Singaporeans are actually vitamin D deficient. Yeah. So in this case, uh, it's actually highly recommended uh, to actually uh, first, uh, if possible, assess your baseline vitamin D status and also to have um, additional uh, vitamin D intake. But however, with the restrictions open up, why don't just go out and get more sunlight? Because uh, your body can also produce vitamin Ds naturally. Yeah, that's the irony, right? It's so sunny here, but a lot of us are vitamin D deficient. Uh, just to let you know, a doctor of mine, uh, yeah, I went to a doctor the other day, and um, he said that actually with vitamin D, you can actually take above the daily recommended dose, get you, your body can store it for a while yeah. or something yeah. like that. It's very hard to reach top toxicity or something like that. Anyway, um, Dr. Lee, it's nice to see you in the webinar. Are you famous, huh, Dr. Lee? <laughs> Is drinking Yakult or Vitagen good for the body? I want to know that too. Okay. It's not. It's so full of sugar. <laughs> it's a life. <laughs> oh no, I'm in trouble. Okay. Like okay. Uh, there, there are many products which are uh, Okay, so probiotics come in many forms. So sometimes people have infant formulas that have probiotics added. People have uh, yogurt products, fruit products with uh, uh, probiotics added. And you can have drinks, drink products like uh, Yakult or Vitagen, which have probiotic products added. So it is suitable for use for different places, for, for, for different conditions. So in fact, um, I saw in one of the chats, somebody also asked, you know, so can I take uh, uh, probiotics for things like acid reflux? Well, again, that's a specific indication. You might actually choose a specific strain for this. 
and and for duration and dose. So those are uh, decisions where you would ask a doctor. Whereas if I went to the supermarket and I said, oh, I would like to to have more uh, probiotics in my in my regular diet. I might just have a yogurt that has got uh, live bacteria in it, and that's also a probiotic. Yes, yeah, speaking of yogurt, uh, Belinda says, is kefir good pro probiotics? Is it safe to take daily? Thank you for sharing. Oh, okay. so, it's a bit more so hardcore, the, the, right? No, no, no. Well, things like kefir, kombucha, uh, many of these are actually food products where, which have been fermented in a way to increase the, 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 the viable bacterial count in them. And since the most probiotics are actually chosen, uh, they're actually bacterial strains that's actually chosen from traditional foods or from uh, bacteria known not to cause problems, are generally regarded as safe, known not to cause problems in humans, that's fine. Uh, the problem about kombucha and kefir and all that is it's very strain dependent. So it's like where did the mother strain come from? Like if people make sourdough, uh, sourdough uh, starters can actually have yeast, can have bacteria, can have very, very different things with different results. Yeah. With different results. Yeah. So interesting, huh? It's yeah. like a whole world of yeah. organisms, you know, probiotics. Um, do we have any more questions? Okay, we have, we've answered so many, I tell you. Thanks for all the awesome questions. I mean, I'm sure you guys got all the help and insight you need. And um, I actually, you know, we've been talking so much about these products today. Uh, it's actually very apt for me to tell you about the discounts you can enjoy on Boost, Optifast, and BioGaia, okay? So let me just run through the discounts. But if you don't catch what I say, it's okay because we're going to post something on the Facebook page, the Unity Facebook page after this webinar to give you all the lowdown on the discounts we're having. So Boost, let's start with Boost first. Boost is having a 20 25% discount on all supplements from now until 7th April. Promotion is valid for two weeks. So we are talking about the Boost Vitamin C, Magnesium, Collagen, and the Mega B Effervescent. The retail price is actually $18.90. Discount price is $14.50. The Boost Multivites, Vitamin B, the Energy Effervescent, the, that, their retail price is $22.90. The discounted price is $17.15. Now we move on to BioGaia. They're also having a promotion on the product we featured today from now till 7 April. I think a lot of people know about BioGaia because it's highly recommended by doctors. Promotion is valid for two weeks. So we are talking about the BioGaia Protectus Trivial Tablets, the strawberry and lemon flavored ones. Those are the ones for older kids, right, Dr. Lee? And the retail price is for one box is actually 45 90 The promotion price is buy two boxes for 75 if math serves me right, that is a great deal. Also, the Protectus Baby Drops, the 5ml one, the retail price is actually $45.90. Promo price, two for $75. The Protectus Baby Drops and Vitamin D, the 5ml bottle, retail price is actually $46.90. Promotion price is two for $75. Okay, last but not least, the OptiFast Very Low Calorie Diet Shakes. Once again, comes in three flavors, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. They retail at $66.00 a box but after purchasing a box of Optifast very low calorie diet shake in Unity stores you can then approach the staff for a seven dollar voucher a seven dollar discount voucher off your next purchase of the Optifast very low calorie diet shake voucher is valid until 30th of June while stocks last oh, we are good doing more questions okay um, Oh, Josephine, you want to ask, when do you take probiotics in the daylight? Yeah, actually, that's a very good question. Okay, you actually can take probiotics any time of the day that actually is convenient for you. There are some products which are best taken um, maybe after a meal, some uh, where the timing is not so important because some products actually come coated, some come actually without coatings. I think read the label is okay. what I'd say. Yeah. Okay. Are we do? Is this the final question? Should we take Boost before breakfast? Okay, yeah, I, I think she means Boost. Yeah, Jess. Yeah, you can actually take Boost uh, according to your lifestyle needs. So anytime in the day. But however, if uh, you there are certain uh, 
food and also vitamins interactions uh, that you need to take note of. For example, if you are a coffee drinker in the morning, um, I would suggest you not to take uh, vitamin C uh, immediately after consuming your coffee because that will actually uh, block the absorption. So one to two hours uh, after the consumption of your coffee, that would be a good time. So if you need further information, do speak to your uh, friendly pharmacist in Unity. Thank you so much for all the questions and thank you for joining us tonight. Hope you had yourself a fun time, you know, just hanging out with us tonight. It's, it's, this Facebook yeah, it Live thing is so <laughs> fun, huh? Yeah, we should do it more often. Okay, um, I, I believe uh, there's another webinar that's happening in a couple of months and we will be talking about, um, we'll give, we're going to give you more tips, we're going to uh, also give you more information about other really good products as well. But in the meantime, do look out for the Facebook post on this Unity Facebook page for the details on all the discounts available for Optifast, Foos, and Biogaya. Um, thank you to all our speakers. Thank you to Pauline and Dr. Lee and Jazz. Thank you for taking the time out tonight to, to hang out with us as well. You guys have yourself a great evening and obviously you have yourself a great weekend as well. See you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>